Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period as well as preparing you our 6, 9th and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also, in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers, and parents, and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. Hello, students. We are teachers J. Kribo T.K. Solomon and Mr. Aaron T. Bala of Rising Academies. This is the Rising You Movement Partnership for the Ministry of Education COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. Lesson number five. Our lesson today is math for the students of grade three and four. And the topic is ordering numbers from greatest to least and least to greatest. While we listen to these COVID-19 health tips, please take out your pencil, pen, and copy books and get ready for today's lesson. Again, Welcome and let's learn. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath. In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problems, kidney failure or death. If you have a fever or any kind of respiratory difficulty, such as coughing and shortness of breath, call your doctor. Great! Hello everyone, welcome back to Radio Math. We are so excited to get started today. You worked so hard in our last lesson. Keep up the effort and your brain will continue to grow. Before we begin, let's take some time to settle our brain down to get them ready for learning. We will start with five deep breaths. During these five breaths, Think of one thing you did in our last lesson and one thing you want to do better today. Take a big deep breath in now and out. In and out. In and out. In and out, in and out. Nicely done. I hope you feel a bit more settled and ready to practice working with numbers. Today, we are going to continue the work we started in our last radio lesson where we compare numbers. For today's lesson, you will need a notebook and a pencil. If there's someone around you who can be your special helper today, please call them now. Great job. Let's move to our first activity for today. Let's join teacher Kubo. Thank you, teacher Aero. It's normal warm up time. Today, let's start from 100 and count forward by twos. If you are sitting down, please stand up so we can get warm up. Okay, the first movement we are going to do is arm cycles. Start by holding your arms straight out to your side. Your body should look like the letter T. Good. Now, we are going to make little cycles with our arms, counting in ones with each cycle. Make sure to keep your arms straight. Let's start from 100 and go to 120. Get ready. 100, 102, 104, 106, 
108, 110, 112, 114, 116, 118, 120. Excellent work. Now, we are going to do next cycles. We are going to roll our necks in a cycle, counting with each go round. Try to get a nice stress in your neck. We are going to start from 120 and go to 140. Get ready. 120, 122, 124, 126, 128, 130, 132, 134, 136, 138, 140. Nice job. Now, stand with your feet apart like an upside down Y. We are going to count from 140 to 160. Each time we count, we are going to take our hands and touch our toes on the other side of our body. Then stand up again. Let's start with our right hand touching our left toes. Then back up. Then we will touch our left hands to our right toes before standing up again. Get ready. 140, 142, 144, 146, 148, 150, 152, 154, 156, 158, 160. Well done! For our 160 to 180, we will do jumping jacks. Get ready. 160, 162, 164, 166, 168, 170, 172, 174, 176, 178, 180. Nice work. From 180 to 200, we will run in place as we count. Let's run. Ready. 180, 182, 184, 186, 188, 200. Wow, what a great workout. Thank you, students. We move the teacher around for our next activity. Okay, students, before we go to our next activity, let's hear a short message. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath. In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problem, kidney failure or death. If you have a fever or any kind of respiratory difficulty, such as coughing and shortness of breath, call your doctor. Thank you, Teacher Kubo. Great job. Warm up your brain, students. Now we are going to start our main activity. Do you have your pencil and paper ready? Great. Let's get started. I'm going to say the problem twice. Take notes in your notebook to make sure you understand the problem. Here we go. Four friends have all been saving money. Flomo has more than Mary, but less than John. Rebecca has more than John. List the friends in order, from who has the least money to who has the most money. 
Listen again. Four friends have all been saving money. Flomo has more than Mary, but less than John. Rebecca has more than John. List the friends in order from who has the least money to who has the most money. Okay, students. List the friends in order from who had the least money to who has the most money. Just a reminder. Greatest means the biggest number. While least means the smallest number. You can use your sticks and counters, or you can draw a picture, or you use any other method that makes sense to you. When you finish, explain to your helper how you solve the problem. Okay, let's talk about it. How did you figure it out? Hmm. I know that Mary has the least money, followed by Flomo, then John, then Rebecca has the most money. I use different colors counters to represent each friend. When the clue said that Flomo had more money than Mary, I placed the Flomo counter above the Mary counter. I put the John counter above the Flomo counter because the clue said Flomo had less money than John. I placed the Rebecca counter above John because the clue said that Rebecca has more money than John. Great. Can you solve this problem for me in another way? Yes. I drew a picture. Great job. Let's do another problem. I'm going to say it twice. This problem also involves four people. James, Mariama, Tita, and Paul. I want you to write these four names in your notebook right now. Great. James has 12 erasers. Mariama has 21 erasers. Tita has 6 erasers. And Paul has 17 erasers. List them in order from who has the greatest number of erasers to who has the least number of erasers. Just a reminder. Greatest means the biggest number. Why least means the smallest number. Take a minute to put them in order. You can use any method that makes sense to you. When you finish, explain to your helper how you solve the problem. Just to make sure I heard you correctly. James has 12 erasers. Mariama has 21 erasers. Tita has 6 erasers. And Paul has 17 erasers, right? Yes. Students, list them in order. From who has the greatest number of erasers to who has the least number of erasers. Great job. Let's discuss this problem. What did you get? Mariama has most erasers, followed by Paul, James, then Tita. I know that 21 is the greatest number because it has two tens and all the other numbers have one or zero tens. Paul is next because he has one ten and seven ones, while James has one ten and two ones. Tita has the least number of erasers because six is made up of zero tens and six ones. I drew a picture of 10 sticks and 1 counters to help me figure it out. 
I also use 10 sticks and one counters to figure it out. Great job. Using strategies that you felt comfortable with. In mathematics, there's usually more than one way to solve a problem. Our next question. Who has more legs? Three pigs or six people? Who has more legs? Three pigs or six people? Choose a method that makes sense to you and explain your answer to your helper. Okay, students, let's explain how we solve it. I drew a picture. I drew three pigs with four legs each and six people with two legs each. Then I just counted all the legs. I counted 12 pigs' legs and 12 human beings' legs. So three pigs and six people have an equal number of legs. Neither has more. Great. So can you solve this problem in different way? Yes. I also use addition. I know that pigs have four legs. So I added four plus four plus four and got 12. People have two legs. So I added two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two to get 12. This tells me that three pigs and six people have the same number of legs. Great. So you use counting and addition to solve the problem. Listeners, which method did you use? How are counting and addition related? Share with your helper. Okay, students. How are counting and addition related? ID and counting can both help us find a total. I agreed. But adding seems like a faster way to find a total than just counting. Instead of counting each pig legs one by one, I could just add four plus four plus four. That's right. Listeners, for any problem, there's usually more than one way to solve it. But some ways can be faster than the others. Okay. Our last challenge problem is our mystery number. I want you to get your pencil and paper ready to write down the clues as I say them. Here are the clues. I am an even number. I do not include the digits 0, 2, 4, or 6. I am less than 40 and greater than 30. What number am I? Again, I am an even number. I do not include the digits 0, 2, 4, or 6. I am less than 40 and greater than 30. What number am I? Okay, let's go through the clue. The first one, I am an even number. What did you think when you heard the first clue? I thought that the number must be even, which means that we can share it exactly into two groups. I also know that even numbers have 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the ones place. Great. Let's keep that in mind. The second clue says 
that the measuring number does not include the digits 0, 2, 4, or 6, and so on. That means it must be in a one's place. I agreed. Let's listen to the final clue. I am less than 40 and greater than 30. How do we use this clue? If we know the number must have an 8 in the ones, it must also have a 3 in the tens place. This will give us the number 38, which is even. Does it have the digits 0, 2, 4, or 6? It's less than 40 and is greater than 30. So, the measuring number is 38. Great. Listeners, did you guess 38? Did the explanation make sense to you? If you guess another number, do you see the mistake you made? Remember, if you made a mistake, no worries. Everyone makes mistakes. The important thing is to learn from your mistakes, to grow as a mathematician and as a person. Great job today. Okay, students, before we end today's lesson, think of one thing you learned about problem solving today. If you are listening at home, share with your helper. I learned that we can solve a problem more than one way, but one way may be faster than the other. I also learned that mistakes can make me grow smarter. You are right. Well done. Well, that's the end of our lesson for today. Great work growing your brain. For your homework, here is a challenge problem. How old is everyone? Write down. Daniel is three years older than Peter. Jack is the same age as Esther. Mark is two years older than Daniel. And Peter is nine years old. Esther is three years younger than Mark. And two years older than Fat two. How old is everyone? Listen again. Daniel is three years older than Peter. Jack is the same age as Esther. Mark is two years older than Daniel and Peter is nine years old. Esther is three years younger than Mark and two years older than Fatu. So, how old is everyone? Okay, students, tune in for our next radio lesson to hear the answer. Now, I want to ask Teacher Kuro, can you tell our students why they are not in school and why school is closed now? Yes, Mr. Bala. Right now, all over the world, there is a sickness catching many people called the coronavirus. Just like doing Ebola time, we need to protect ourselves. This is why we are in school right now. Wow. Now, how do we catch this coronavirus? That's a great question. Well, the sickness can spread from 
person to person. When you get too close to them and they cough or sneeze near you, if someone forgets to wash the germs off their hands with soap and water and then shakes your hand, they gave you the sickness. Hmm. Right now, the government wants to protect you. So, they told us all to stay home for a little while. By staying home, we are being heroes in the fight against Corona. Thank you so much, Kubo, for telling my students how we can catch this sickness. But one more thing I want to ask you. How do we prevent this sickness? Ah, that is important one thing I want my students to know. When we wash our hands with soap and water, we can help protect ourselves from getting all types of illnesses. Make sure to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. Wow. Thank you so much, Teacher Kubo for that helpful reminder. Boys and girls, if you have any questions on today's lesson, you can kindly send them through this number, 0555 Again, if you have any questions on today's lesson, you can kindly send them through this number 0555 Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for that helpful reminder. Boys and girls, that is the end of our class today. We are so happy you were here with us. We hope to talk to you again soon. Goodbye from me, J. Kribo T.K. Solomon. And goodbye from me, Mr. Aaron T. Bala. Happy